Here's a UK and Ireland weather forecast for March the 29th, Good Friday to March the 31st, Easter Sunday 2013. Looking back to the past 24 hours, Thursday's highs a little bit higher than what we've seen recently, with the average across the country at 4 degrees. Still though, the 10th coldest day of March and the 7th coldest March day in Northern Ireland. The nighttime temperatures well below freezing for many places. Indeed, the average is minus 1.4, the fourth coldest night of March and the coldest night of 2013 in Wales. The next three days, we may see some isolated snow showers in the east, particularly on Friday and perhaps into Saturday, but a dry Easter Sunday for everyone with sunny intervals for most, if not all, areas. So looking at the pressure charts at the moment, we'll see an uh, area of high pressure dominating mainly, uh, particularly towards the north, meaning there won't be much precipitation, perhaps a little bit of cloud build-up towards the southwest, especially out over the open ocean. Looking at Good Friday then, sunny intervals for many, particularly towards the west and the far north, uh, with some wintry showers along the east coast of England and Scotland, uh, sleet towards the north, but perhaps some uh, snow showers. Um, along the east coast of England. There won't be that many, It'll probably be isolated showers, but again, there could be some more snow here. High temperatures, we're looking at 3 to 5 degrees, uh, warmer towards the west, if I can say warmer, less cold, more like, um, with 6 degrees the high in South Wales and uh, parts of Ireland. Friday night, again, we'll be looking at wintry showers along the northeastern coast of the UK. Again, not so much widespread, but it may provide some local accumulations here and there. Um, clear skies far towards the northwest of Scotland and clearer skies as well in parts of Wales and the Republic of Ireland. Elsewhere overcast for most areas uh, but temperatures again very cold night minus two or minus three being the norm except along the east coast where it would be a little bit less cold because of the snow falling and perhaps as low as minus nine in the Scottish Islands. Looking at Saturday, it will be fairly mixed across the whole of the uh, British Isles. We'll be seeing some sunny intervals towards the southwest of England and Wales, and also in northern parts of Ireland and in northern parts of Scotland as well. And we'll see some sunny intervals mixed in with wintry showers along the east coast of northern England and southern Scotland. Sleet in some areas, snow in others. Um, it's really look whichever happens to wear. And the temperatures will be 4 to 6 degrees generally as a high temperature on Saturday, again remaining pretty cold for the end of March. Saturday night will be a largely quiet night across most of the uh, British Isles. There may be the odd isolated snow shower along parts of the East Coast, but many of these will have fizzled out and won't amount to much. Clear skies for many areas, particularly the far south, the south coast of England, uh, the southern coast of Ireland as well, and um, large parts of Scotland as well. And temperatures as a result will be plummeting, minus five um, pretty commonly in the northern part of England and perhaps as low as minus eight in Scotland. Coming into Easter Sunday we'll be seeing some partly cloudy skies across most if not all of the country. Uh, there'll be some more cloud build up towards the middle of the day but the beginning and end should end fairly um, clear, fairly bright for many parts of the UK. Don't forget the clocks go forward early on a Sunday morning uh, into British summer time of course and the temperatures on Easter Sunday will reach 5 to 6 degrees generally a little bit more milder towards the west than it is to the east and south um, the Irish sea coasts for instance will probably reach the highest temperatures Sunday night will be clear skies across most of the country um, any cloud will be uh, thin not much of it towards Ireland and uh, parts of Scotland and again, as a result of this, we'll be seeing colder temperatures well into the negative numbers, uh, reaching low temperatures of minus 3 to 5 degrees. This time the low temperature we'll probably see in Cumbria, or parts of northern England, uh, minus 3 across Wales and parts of Ireland as well. Looking into the long-term forecast, perhaps more spring-like weather is in sight, but not just yet. Uh, the website's force13.com, and I'll be back in two days' time with um, a more in-depth forecast on Easter Sunday through till Tuesday next week.